It's Women's History Month and at Wikimedia UK we're celebrating the great women and initiatives that are closing the gender gap on Wikipedia and its sister projects. Subscribe to see interviews every Monday and follow the links in the description for ways to get involved. Today we're joined by Helen Close from the Women's Engineering Society. Hello, I'm Helen Close, Heritage Officer at the Women's Engineering Society. The WES, the WES itself was formed in 1919 in the aftermath of World War I with the intention of supporting and keeping women in the engineering sector who had begun working in response to the war effort and we're still going strong today. In 2019, we received a grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund for our Centenary Trail project. The goal of the project was to raise awareness of the women, women's of women engineers of the last 100 years by creating a virtual map that linked through to Wikipedia pages or wiki data entries. Our aim was to write and improve entries of 200 women engineers. That was our target. We've achieved well over that now. How is your project tackling the gender gap on Wikipedia and its sister projects? When I started the project, we had two um, entries on our map. Um, so this is a virtual map that's on our website um, and it shows pin drops of um, women engineers. So we had two when I actually started the project. Um, that has now um, increased to well over 300 to 400 um, entries on that. So those are now entries on um, Wikipedia. So we now have in excess of 400 women engineers. Um, originally, the project was for just the UK. Um, but if you actually look at the Centenary Trail map now, um, as I say, it goes worldwide now, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And there are all of these entries um, on Wikipedia uh, for women engineers that previously we didn't see at all. Um, the project has been a success through a series of wikithons. So we've run wikithons or editathons, however you like to call them. Um, and lots of enthusiastic volunteer editors um, have, helped us, have helped us achieve that. So, yeah, that's great. What would be most valuable to you to help your project expand or increase its impact? I think with everything these days, it's obviously got to be more more funding to enable us to continue to do this work. Um, but I think confidence is an issue, particularly with um, people that are volunteering to do Wikipedia pages. Um, and then we also have the sort of length of time that it takes for Wikipedia pages to be approved because of the criteria and everything. So, um and for people that aren't confident writing stuff, then when they go through the process of actually having something published um, or not published or perhaps criticised um, for the content and whatever, um, it knocks, knocks people's confidence quite a lot. So I think, um, yes, funding, but being able to um, help people feel better about their, their, their writing um, and their their contribution I think um, and then more time um, to carry out research so that we can get more women onto Wikipedia um, and wiki data entries onto um, the um, onto the map from our point of view but obviously I think having worked with lots of volunteers who are trying to create pages it's about time and confidence I think a lot of the time so yeah what are you most proud of I think the thing I'm most proud of um, is the actual map itself. Um, if you get a chance to have a look at it, um, please do. Um, it's on our uh, on our web page. Um, but the actual amount of entries on there, I think it shows so it shows visually um, how many wiki pa wiki pages there are now for women engineers that previously were unseen. Um, so that. That visual representation is really, really great. And then having a, a page that I've written myself, I think the first time that happened, it was like a, a wow moment. It was like, yes, I've managed to do it as well. So um, obviously our project is volunteer based. So um, we had to use volunteers to do um, the, the entries and that kind of thing. Um, and so me actually going through that process myself um, 
helped me understand what they were going through. So yeah, so the map itself um, and the um, the sheer quantity um, and quality of the work that we, we've been able to do. And then, as I say, having a, pub, a page published that I've written myself too. So that's great. Yeah. Um, just trying to think. Obviously, the link to um, our web page in terms of resources, um, the WES Journal, um, which is has been published since 1919, is one of our main resources for finding out about women engineers. Um, and there's an index on that. Um, so then that's that that resource is actually held, the physical resource is held at the IET in London, but it has all been digitised and there is an index. So um, that's really, really useful for looking up specific women engineers. And then most of the research that um, we tend to do is carried out on Ancestry, um, also British newspaper archives, um, and then local local records, um, even where necessary. Um, and then obviously now, from our point of view, we've got the 2021, uh, the, the 1921 census has now been released. Um, and that's quite good for us because we were formed in 1919. Um, and it's really helping to throw light on what happened to the, those women um, that were our founding members. Um, so um, that's been a revelation. It's not particularly easy to use. It doesn't always give you the results that you want. Um, and um, it is more costly than using Ancestry. So, um, yeah. So I'd say that.